presenting Nerf in the dark. Nerf, or neural radiance fields, is a scene representation that can be used for high quality novel view synthesis. This video is a rendering of a Nerf model reconstructed from about 20 input images of these flowers. Nerf works very well in scenes like this, where there's minimal brightness variation and no visible image noise. Here's one of the input images for this scene. We can see that it looks clear and sharp, with no overexposed bright highlights or heavily shadowed dark regions. But what if we want to capture a scene that's much, much darker? This is a cell phone image lit only by candlelight. My phone has made a good attempt at producing a decent looking picture, but at the cost of throwing away a lot of hidden detail. If we grab a raw file instead, apply only minimal post-processing, then brighten up the result, we can see lots of sensor noise, but also reveal more detail in the dark regions. Let's focus on this patch behind the wooden bowl, brightening it up even further. If we run a cutting edge deep denoising network on the raw image, it removes some of the noise, but leaves behind a lot of artifacts. Our method, called raw nerf, is able to combine images taken from many different camera viewpoints to jointly denoise and reconstruct the scene. Going back to the noisy image, we can see just how well raw nerf does at removing noise. And of course, Ronerf is not just a denoiser, which means we can vary the camera position to view the scene from different angles. Ronerf goes beyond this. We actually reconstruct the scene and render new views in a linear HDR color space. This means we can also do things like vary the exposure by rescaling renderings in linear space before they're post-processed, or swap out the basic gamma curve for a more complex tone mapping algorithm that brings out detail in shadows. We can even take advantage of the linear color values to render synthetic defocus with accurate bokeh effects. Let's take a look at what raw nerf is capable of in some nighttime scenes. Here's a noisy outdoor scene lit only by street lamps. Focusing in on this street sign, we see that raw nerf cleans up enough noise to make it legible. We can compare raw nerf's output to a standard nerf that's been trained on post-processed JPEGs instead of on raw image data. This rendering was originally so dark, we had to scale it up by 16 times to make this video. By comparison, raw nerf recovers much more accurate color and detail throughout the scene. In the remaining examples, we'll simply show a noisy test frame the corresponding raw nerf rendering, and then a path of novel views. Despite the noise, raw nerf is able to recover the fine geometry of this fence and bicycle. This shiny stove shows how raw nerf inherits nerf's ability to model view dependent effects. Similarly, in this scene, we can observe the reflection of the street light in the road as the camera moves from side to side. We'll end with a showreel of HDR view synthesis effects created using raw nerf reconstructions. As mentioned earlier, the linear color values recovered by raw nerf allow us to render physically accurate defocus effects. Changing viewpoint, focus, and exposure all together creates an atmospheric effect that can bring attention to different regions of a scene. Raw Nerf is able to handle scenes with extremely large dynamic range when trained on images taken at different bracketed exposure levels. We can apply a sophisticated local tone mapping pipeline to improve contrast in darker regions of a scene. This effect can heighten the drama of scenes with stark lighting conditions.
Capturing bright stained glass windows from inside a dark church has always been a classic HDR challenge. Bright background light sources with varying colors can create pleasingly varied bokeh effects. Since Raw Nerf builds a full 3D reconstruction over a wide baseline of inputs, we can even focus on the bookcase reflected above the piano keys. Thanks for watching.